Hey everybody, welcome back to the homestead. Thanks for tuning in today. As you can see, we got the WC88 back in action here. Uh, Mrs. Homesteader and I have been spending a lot of time on the gardens and the other day she spent about two hours just plucking weeds. To uh, remedy that in the future, we're gonna use uh, our nice wood chipper here to build up a good base of wood chips so the weeds can't get up and through. As you can see, we got a uh, big acreage here and there's always lots of branches and stuff, but uh, sometimes they're not always in the right place. So we got to get them to the, uh, to the machine to be able to chip them up and get them to where they, we want them to go. So we got a tree over here that I dropped uh, two or three years ago when we were preparing uh, this area. And it's been sitting there ever since. So we're going to start off with a chainsaw, getting in that area, get everything piled up right here. So when we start the machine up, we can use it for its uh, use it most efficiently and not just have the tractor idling while we're out pulling out more brush. I want to thank everybody for watching the channel. It's uh, it's inspiring for me that people out there are, are interested in what I'm doing here. I wish I could spend more time filming, but uh, there's other things going on in life that just really aren't that interesting that got to get done too. You can really help me out if you like this video and please subscribe. And if, if you have time, share it on your social media, share it with your friends, share it with your mom, whatever it takes. You can see I got a decent pile here. Now keep in mind, uh, I think 99% of this is uh, this sugar maple, so it's going to give the uh, the WC88 a good run for its money. I put some bigger logs in before, and you got to slow the feed down a little bit, but uh, the tractor has no problem keeping up. It's basically just the chipping speed, so that's why it has the feed uh, feed adjustment on it. So we're going to get the tractor fired up and get this chipped up. Do you think it'll fill my little trailer up? I would be surprised.
as you can see, I was wrong. We got a full trailer load here. That's a lot of chips with a lot of wood. So just talking about the chipper for a minute, you may have noticed I came and adjusted this. That's the feed speed. And when I had that, you know, I'd say it was maybe five inches piece of maple. I just wanted to slow it down a bit to give the machine a chance to keep up. If you got that feed going too fast, it's going to try to jam that, jam that big log into the, uh, into the chipper part. And a few weeks ago, I did that with a, I think it was a birch tree. And I started to smoke the belts a little bit, which means it's uh, working a little too hard. The tractor's doing the work, um, but the machine can't keep up. And that's an 80 horse tractor. So a lot of people are running smaller tractors, you know, 30, 40 horsepower. It's, you're, you're gonna put a lot of strain on your tractor. Adjust that feed down and you can keep putting the big stuff in. It just gets fed a little bit slower. It's not a big difference in time, really. Overall, it took me about 45 or 50 minutes to get this chipped up. Now this goes a long ways. And we got a lot more chipping to do because I probably need about five of these, five of these full. So finding wood, finding wood on the homestead to, to do that, that's easy to access is one thing. There's lots of wood around. It's just, just, just getting at it and getting the time to get at it. So we're gonna go dump this on the garden. Thanks for watching again. Like and subscribe if you can. And we'll see you next time on the homestead.